So, earlier today, you may have noticed that I posted a video on the Skoda T27 Quest, and now you can get this vehicle for free in 10 minutes if you're a decently skilled player. And I still believe this to be one of the best events Wargaming has ever brought into the game, because both the vehicles that you can get for free are absolutely fantastic. The Skoda T27 is on the overpowered category in my eyes, and the E75 TS is not an overpowered tank, but it's a very solid heavy. And the fact you can get it for only 650 gold just by winning four games in a row is really, really easy. So, in today's video, we are going to claim this event on... Actually, we're going to do both events. So we're on my free to play count. So we're going to start this right now and I'm going to do the gameplay in the concept 1B. I don't have the 5A like I do on my NA account as I'm currently on my EU account. And I feel like the concept 1B is a vehicle that out of two games I can at least get a first class or an ace in. It's really going to depend on the teammates that I get along the way though because at the end of the day just like as most of you probably saw in my Skoda T27 uh, NA account video the first game I played in my 5A was not a victory in fact it was quite a bad defeat we did all right but doesn't matter you need to get really really good games out to uh, to get an ace if you end up having defeats so we got the K91 he's playing really really aggro anybody else coming over here interesting I need to play passive early game Oh, yep, and there you go. We got the Badger pushing up. Nice shot, but I have noticed a problem, which is going to unfold very, very quickly, which actually could be the end of my vehicle very fast. Um, in fact, it might be the end of my vehicle right now. That is the fact that every single player has screwed me on my team. Yay! I'm actually dead. You know what? I might just kill myself. If I, uh, if I die, like, right now, I can probably get another two games in before, before it even matters. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to end up killing myself really quickly here. Because I can't kill the Badger anyway. My game's over. I don't know why my team decided not to support me. But, okay, well, the Badger is dead. Thanks, team. Thank you so much, IS-7. I'm very tempted to just literally kill myself. Like, I, th I think it would be better off if I did at this point. But that's crazy. Yeah, that's one of the big downsides of the concept is the fact that it has very little penetration... Um, against things like the Badger and things that have high levels of pen. Alright, well, uh, there you go, we got another shell into the K91. I mean, you know what, we can, we can possibly bring it back. I doubt it, though. Let's see, we got the 260, and we're just gonna back up. 260 is, ooh, we actually get the clear on him, that's actually quite nice. That's gonna give us some extra XP, there you go. Alright, well, you know what, looks like we might have been able to bring it back, even though we got full speed YOLO'd by a Badger. Um, we're not dead yet. Alright, IS-7 shot. Oh, don't want to overpoke that. That's a 57 heavy. Alright, well, let's reload. 3, 2, 1, and another... What was that? What the heck was that? That was awful, bro. Alright, well, let's try again. We need to get this... Oh, I was going to say we need to get this clear for the XP, but oh well. That's alright. We're up to 3,600 damage at this point, which is okay. Um, we're just gonna aim it on the IS-7. There you go. Another easy pen into his vehicle. 359. The concept is just such a good heavy. I mean, even in this situation where we shouldn't have done well, we were still able to bring it back. Look at that. 4,300 damage and a win. Okay, you know what? We might actually get the ace on our first game. I really thought that I was just gonna have to kill myself to the Badger so we could throw this game away and do two more in another tank, but... Come on. First class. There you go. Done. Skoda T27 in my garage. Claim. Okay. Well, uh, it was a Sussler battle, but we were able to get it. That's, uh, that's kind of... Okay, I don't care Wargaming. I don't care. All right. Uh, oh, it broke the game. There you go. I'll just swap it to display capture. Uh, but look at that. We go to tier 8, and now I have a Skoda T27. That's actually kind of insane. You can see that we got it right there. Okay, well, uh... Wow, <laughs> I really thought that that game was going to be awful. Okay, well that's the first quest complete. Let's do the E75 TS quest. Wow, what an absolutely insane battle on the concept. We took what was a terrible situation and actually managed to turn it into a free tier 8. The reason I was saying at the beginning I should kill myself was mainly because it was only about a minute into the battle. And if I ended up dying there, I could leave, go into a game and maybe my T22 medium or another tier 10 fast enough that if I lost that battle, I would still have enough time to do another, if that makes sense. But 
I actually ended up doing pretty well, so I guess I can't complain. A victory's a victory, and a tier 8's a tier 8. So now, we are going to get our hands on the E75 TS. I already claimed the subscription, I just need to go to my storage here. Press go. Alright, in 3, 2, 1, start. Now this one is a lot easier. All we need to do is win 4 battles in a row. I just fully equipped my Progetto 46. I was tempted to use this or the Barask. My personal advice is if you're not super skilled, use heavies. Like, if you're 50-ish percent win rate, and you know your own skill level. Like, it's not me telling you what to do, but... If you think that you're going to do better in a heavy, then I would recommend to pull out a heavy tank. Pull out something like a Skoda T56. Pull out a... really any heavy. Uh, 53 TP, Chise, uh, Semovente Contra Caro 56. Anything like that is going to be possibly better for you than pulling out a medium. But if you're skilled enough to use mediums to an advantage, then I would say mediums are better any day of the week. Mobility is king in terms of World of Tanks. It's just better because if you're in a late game situation and you need the carry and get a victory out, I'd much rather be in a tank with mobility than a vehicle that is a high in HP, if that makes sense. Because you can always outspot your opponents with the better camouflage values. You can always outmaneuver your heavies if they are slow. And that's why I usually like to use mediums when it comes to wins. So let's see, we got the T-43 off to the side. We get one shell into his vehicle, two shells into his tank. He does end up penning us, but this is why auto reloaders are so dangerous, unfortunately. The mod 1 is off to our side. We're going to back up, hopefully, before the mod 1 is able to hit us again. Our rev is going to get a shell out. We're just going to reload here. I'm just going to chill in this current position. Please don't kill me, rev. Oh, boy. I think the rev... Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Mod 1's looking at the rev instead of us. All right, that's good, actually. All right, so let's see if we can uh, HE the rear. No, there you go. One easy tracking shell. Two shells, and we do get hit by some sort of TD or somebody camping in the back, but that's fine. We've already been able to nuke the Mod 1. We've already been able to nuke the T-43. And this here is why auto-reloaders are so strong, because they literally just get the best of both worlds. They get the ability to dump their clips and deal good damage, and they also get the ability to have mobility and the ability to have high DPM and everything. I always think auto reloaders are the best class of vehicles just for wins so if you have a cron that's an easy tank to get four wins and if you know how to play it properly what is the tank that was camping in the back maybe it was an is2 no i think it was the ag panther i think he just ran away after he realized that uh it was an l i don't know i don't know what else could have shot us maybe the tiger too doesn't really matter we're just gonna poke over here we're naming on the ag panther there you go easy clear on his vehicle it doesn't really matter how much damage we deal in these games it just matters if we get the win so i don't really care to be completely honest how much we end up dealing it's a win either way for our first game so this was super duper easy Alrighty, let's just uh move on up and see what we can do tiger 2 somehow got a bounce even though he's running the stock turret so we clear him and we push off to the side of the is2 Get one nice shell into his tank, and, uh, well, this guy's a goner anyway. Bye-bye. All right, that was a very easy first game. The first battle doesn't matter. Like, if you lose or win your first game, it's not the end of the world, because you can just start another streak, you know? It's actually going to be painful if you lose your third or fourth game, because you've already spent maybe 15 minutes getting to your third or fourth battle, and if you end up losing that game, it's going to be really, really irritating. I can tell you that for a fact. So hopefully we don't end up losing our later games. Uh, all right. Well, let's see what we can do here. Up against us, we have uh, M4 Yosh. Go to T27. I should have started both of the events at the same time. I think it would have been funnier if I had been able to grab the Skoda T27 and also have the E75 TS event active because I would have had one less victory to get here. But I'm not going to complain. We already got the Skoda, and the Skoda's better than the E75 TS, so I really can't get too mad. Spotted the FCM. We did not get spotted ourselves. There you go. Nice shell once into the Skoda. Two shells into the enemy Skoda. And let's see if we can get that third out. There you go. That's half of the vehicle's entire HP people taken off. And it's a great example of why skill is still the most important key in World of Tanks. All right, well, let's reload. We got the FCM, who just got nuked quite a bit by our Skoda, which is obviously pretty good. We got the uh, E25, and he does shoot me, but we hit him back harder. Again, we are an auto-reloader, after all. 
Let's see, we got the FCM. There you go. Easy shell into his vehicle once. I don't want to have to trade with the FCM, though. Let's just, uh, let's see what we can do here. Our Skoda is reloaded at this point. E25 is in a very, very peculiar situation. We're just going to chill right here. E25 is kind of screwed, I'm going to be honest. There you go. Nice shot into the rear of his vehicle. ISU is currently not looking at us, but we're going to wait for him to turn his vehicle to the side. Get an easy pen in. Got the FCM, another easy pen. Oh, but that's not good. Tiger 2 actually has really good DPM for any of you that are unaware. And because of that, it's not actually a fun tank to fight in a vehicle like this. So let's see what we can do. Uh, Tiger 2 shot. So we got one shell into his tank. That's better than nothing. I'll take it. All right, let's see. If the Tiger shoots the IS-2 again, I'm going to wait for him to shoot the IS-2 one more time. Let's see. Come on, shoot him. No, no, he didn't. That's not good. All right, well, we need the backup then. We need to keep backing up. There you go. Nice shot to the Tiger 2 turret. We got the FCM off to the side. Unfortunate. Okay, well, I don't really love this situation. We got a Yo, and we got the Tiger 2 over here. And, oh boy, I wanted the Tiger 2 to shoot, but the FCM might just kill us. Oh, we're good. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We managed to get out. This could be a loss. This could very easily be a loss. I need to get out of here before it is. Our whole team is, like, stupid. Like, what are you side scraping against, Chrysler, bro? Oh, boy. Hey, this game could actually be a big stinking loss. Gonna be real. Alright, let's see. We got the SU-152 off to the side. And I'm gonna try and clear that. Our Chrysler just killed himself. Crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. There you go. Okay, we got the clear on the SU. That's really, really important. Um, I'm going to chill here for a little bit and wait. And then I'm going to see if I can get behind them, hopefully. Let's see. I should be unspotted at this point. Let's see. I'm going to chill right here. I'm hoping that nothing rolls around this corner. But you never know. Okay. Nothing is. They only have three vehicles left. So I'm going to go wide and get behind them here. We should be able to get some nice bleeds out. Let's see, and one bonk, there you go, and two bonks, bye bye Thank you very much for your HP, good sir. We got the Yo, who appears to not really care about us, so there you go, easy shell into the Yo. It's not a win yet, to be honest, uh, this is actually a loss. Um, yeah, unless I can big brain the crap out of the Tiger. I mean, the Tiger we still have is alive, so at least we got that going for us. Hmm. That guy's going to YOLO me, or at least he's going to try to, but obviously I'm a medium and much more mobile, so I'm not too worried. Oh boy, but our tiger gets penned. Please pen the yo, please pen the yo, bro. Oh boy. Well, that's a big stinking L, going to be real. Let's see, tiger shows me his lower plate. There you go, we got one pen, two pens, there you go, that's pretty important. Reload, reload, reload. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, and bonk. Okay, that was really, really good. That yo is going to start to YOLO us, and I need to get out before he's able to... I did the best I could there. There's not much else I really was able to do in that type of situation. Just a classic, terrible team. Uh, yeah, I mean, we did good, though. It was just unfortunate. How much damage we end up dealing? Yeah, 4,000, and you guys couldn't just hold for a little bit longer? Come on, guys. How much longer do we have on this event? We have 21 minutes. Okay, well, let's try it again. Here we go. What a what an unfortunate set of circumstances there, really. Now, 21 minutes, the average game takes about uh, 3 minutes. So that means to win 4, it's going to take at least 15-ish. Oh boy, this is going to be close. We have to like really, really quickly win these games. Uh, we have to average like 3 minutes a win here. If not, we're not going to be able to get the tank. Now, I'm not sure how the last game works. I'm pretty sure that as long as you start the battle before the timer runs out and you get the fourth win, it won't matter. So, oh well. I'm glad that we lost on our second game and not, you know, our third or fourth because that would have been a lot more annoying. But yeah, I actually think getting the E75 TS is going to be a bit challenging for people. It might even be harder than the Skoda one because... Getting consistent wins can be tricky in World of Tanks, let's be real. So there you go, nice HE into the SP. They do have a Skoda T27 as well. Oh, their whole team appears to be over here, interesting. Well, that's not necessarily bad or good. 
Um, we got the panther. He's just kind of sitting there. There you go. Easy shell into the panther. Let's see. Oh, that shell just went to nowhere. All right, let's try that again. Bro, what are my shots doing? What? Our AMX CDC is killing himself. Our T-71 is also killing himself. Interesting. Well, let's hope that our heavies went over there. Looks like they are. And... Bonk. There you go. One easy shell into the panther. Let's load gold so we finish him off. Two easy shells into the panther. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. We've been able to get the clear. Which is pretty good. Alright, let's see. Is the SP gonna poke this? He does. There you go. Finally, we get a pen. I don't know why our other shots weren't hitting him. Okay, how is our... Okay, no, I don't know what our team's doing over there, to be real. I'm just gonna aim it on the SP. There's one pen... Don't know if the other one pens, but I know for a fact that at least the first one did. We're just going to chill here. We're going to reload. I'm not actually aiming on the Skoda, because that vehicle is much more dangerous. We're going to go one shell into his tank, and two shells into his tank, and three shells into his tank. And there you go. Skoda is now a one-shot for anybody on our team. My teammate gets in my way. The CDC is really... Just kill the Skoda, bro! Kill the Skoda! Please! Thank you! It's not challenging. Oh, my rap. <laughs> I can't. Sometimes common sense just doesn't exist with these players. Alright, we need to head over and kill the Tiger and IS-2 shield now, but at least it's gonna be a win. Alright, let's aim in, and... 3, 2, 1... Monk, there you go. There's one pen into the Tiger. That one probably penned as well, so that's about... 400 HP off of his tank. I mean, you can see how good the Progetto is. It's just such a strong vehicle, and it's super duper mobile, which allows us to get in and out of these situations. That shell went to frickin' China, but it's alright. We're just gonna push. Even if the IS-2 shielded hits me, it's not gonna matter, because we can just finish off the Tiger. There's one pen, two pens, there you go, he gone. All that's left is the IS-2. There's one pen into his vehicle. And uh, we just need to finish him off here. So here's one. And dead. Okay, there you go. 3,575 damage. And a very easy victory. Okay. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad. We just need to do this three more times. So let's see how long that took us. We had 20 minutes to go before. Now we have 17 minutes and 40 seconds. So that was a pretty quick game. That was actually very quick. So at this rate, we should easily be able to get... Uh, at least three more victories, as long as our teams allow us to get the games. They're not hard to get, just hopefully our teams don't disappoint us. Well, I guess we will indeed find out. All right, here we go. Second battle, easy matchup against Tier 7s and Tier 8s, so not a complaint here. Uh, by the way, bit of advice I can give you. If you have any tanks that you just got your hands on, for example... I would recommend to do the Skoda before you do the uh, E75 TS because the first few games you have in a brand new vehicle are called the Honeymoon Period and you won't fight tier or higher tiered opponents until you uh, play like five, six, or eight games in the vehicle. What that means is that you can very easily play something like this, the Progetto, because I have zero games in my Progetto starting today's video. Uh, and because of that, I'm not fighting higher-tiered opponents until I play, like, eight games in the tank. Uh, I don't want to be shot by that. But it is kind of like a cheese situation where uh, I don't have to fight higher-tiered opponents. Also, bro, what was that? Alright, well, let's see. Let's aim it on the... Sh okay, game. Come on. Give me a pen. There you go. Like, it's not hard to pen the T-43. just requires a bit of RNG, apparently. Alright, well, we're doing alright. This is already a win. Ah, yes, we hit that on the move, but we can't hit a T-43 fully aimed in. The duality of wargaming, guys. I love this game. It's so good. All right, let's aim it on the Skoda. Easy pen into his vehicle. We do have the ISU-122S off to the side, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's just get another shell into the Skoda. That finished him off. Then we back up. I'm going to just bonk the ISU because that vehicle is a pretty big threat. Even if he is one shot, I don't want to lose 400 health. This guy is going to get bonked. There you go. We got hit in the side by... Oh, everybody, apparently, that's camping back there. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. We love World of Tanks. Whoa. We love everybody camping. All right. Well, nothing I can do about that. There's no way I'm still spotted. What? There's no way. I don't even know how that's possible. It doesn't matter. We win anyway, but I just can't believe that I lost all that health from unspotted tanks. 
I think the tiger was actually camping over here. I don't know. I mean, we're not going to lose this. This is an easy win. Oh, they're just both camping there. That's crazy. Oh, that shell went to China. Let's try again. That shell also went to China. There you go. We got one bent out. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're doing all right anyway. Let's just aim it on the tiger again. I don't think we're going to get too much more out, but you know what? A win's a win. And that's two wins in a row, so only two more to go. All right. Let's aim it on the uh, tiger. Get the clear. Nice. Okay. Not bad. As I said, it doesn't really matter if you win or uh, or do like an insane amount of damage. You just need to get the victory. So it doesn't mean anything to me. We did just about 2,000 damage. And uh, we got a third class. Who cares? Thank you. All right. So that's two games. How much time do we have? 14 minutes and 26 seconds. That was only a three-minute game. Yeah, we have plenty of time to win two more at this point. Okay. You definitely see, though, even for a skilled player like myself, it can be a bit challenging to win four games in a row. That is four battles, and it's actually a decent amount. I mean, it's a 75% win rate, which is what I average monthly on Tier 10. So that means one out of every four games, I lose. So winning four in a row does require effort. That's 100% factual. And as I said, I think this is actually more challenging than the Skoda one. The Skoda one just requires you to get one good game, which isn't that hard, to be honest. That one, if you can't achieve, especially because I think it's, what, 650 gold to retry. After, like, four games, if you can't get a first class, that's just more of a skill issue. Uh, I mean, even if you have bad teams, you only need to get one, like, four or 5k game, and congrats, you've already, you know, got the, uh, the tank. So that's not too hard, in my opinion. It's definitely the other uh, winning four games in a row that can require a lot of effort. So the Ag Panther absolutely craps on my team, eh? And we got the CDC in the back. Another nice shell. Wow, great job, CDC. Who would have guessed driving out in the open isn't a good decision? Whoa! Well, we're still bleeding their teammate over and over and over. I don't think he enjoys our company too much, gonna be real. Oh my god. We just bled his entire full health tank. It feels like everybody driving the CDC has like zero brain cells. Which honestly makes sense because it's basically the Dracula. So that's crazy. Thank you for losing me health, Luda. Bro, this guy's just like constantly pushing us, which is actually really annoying. Yeah, that's actually super duper annoying. All right, well, the CDC is not much of a threat. Panther said, oh, what the heck, bro? What, what the fudge? Like, bro, really? Why are you there? Right. I'm not I'm not poking. I'm not losing my health over this. I'll wait. I'll sit here if I have to the entire game. I'm not bleeding half of my health to an SU-130 that's playing like a monkey. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. How long do you think he's going to camp there? I bet you that he's not going to move this entire time. I bet you he's going to sit there for the next three minutes if he has to. Yeah, you want to bet? Let's see, let's see. I'm going to go now. And I guarantee he's sitting right there. Oh, he's not. Never mind. I expected him to just sit there the entire time. Uh, that's like, I fully expected him just to sit there. All right, let's aim it on the uh, moots. There you go. One shell. Two shells. Apparently he's a little blind. Is he AFK? Oh, crazy. Looks like that's the T-34 shooting us again. Yeah, it was. I don't know why that T-34's got such a hard-on for us. Alright, SU-130 killed our teammate. That's alright. There you go. Nice 291 HE into his rear. This will definitely be a win. Um, actually, it should be a win, is what I, I will say. It's not definite a win. Because they still have some health left. But... I think it should be a win. Alright, let's see. This T-34 needs to go. He's the cringer. Okay, good. With the T-34 dead, this is a dub. Alright, sweet. Thank you very much. Alright, so this is our third victory at this point. Which means only one more to go. But, it's always the last one that's the most painful. So, we'll see. We will indeed see. There's one bonk. And... Ah, he overangled his side just at the last moment. But that's fine. We're gonna ram him! <laughs> I'll take it. We got 208 damage we wouldn't have had without the ram. So not... Not too shabby. 
All right, there you go. We got a victory. And we were able to deal 3,400 damage. All right, and we have just 10 minutes left. What is our win rate in this? Or not our win rate. Uh, 3,079 average damage so far. All right, let's make this a win, guys. Still a tier 8 game, but they got some strong vehicles. Actually, a lot of their lineup strong. They got a Sent RAAC. They got a Ferdinand, which, while not a strong tank, has a very good gun, which can still bleed us. Uh, T2020, pretty good vehicle, to be real. Uh, Skoda T56, pretty good. Super, actually, their whole lineup's actually very solid. And ours is, ours is okay, but we do have an AT15, which has no camo, and that's already very uh, disheartening. We just gotta win. That's all we gotta do. Just win this battle. Alright. If we lose this, then I'm gonna go hop over to the Skoda T27, because I haven't played that yet. And then we'll, uh, we'll get the honeymoon period again. And I'll have to spend 650 gold again. Alright. Do, 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 do. Okay, T2020 is off to the side. There's the RAAC. There's the Super Pershing. Okay. The only thing I'm worried about right now are the tank destroyers. There's the T69. Let's see. Are we spotted for that? No. Interesting. I'm really hoping that we don't get caught out by the SU-130 or something. Alright, let's aim in. There you go. Easy 256 roll. There you go. 223. I don't know how the heck he hit that, but whatever. We got our pens out. Let's back up and keep on backing up. Nice. Okay. That's already a very, very good start. And, you know, I'm just going to keep backing up because we can just reload our clip here. All right. And there's one pen. Yep. Ram me. Thank you. And bye. Crazy, bro. Crazy. I love how people think that just because you're an auto loader or an auto reloader, they can get away with YOLOing you. It's a great example of why, just because you might not have as much DPM as the other player, you're still a very, very capable tank in every situation. And, uh, there you go. You're dead, you're dead. All that's left is a... Really? He hits that? Bruh. That's so cringe. Oh, is he just gonna tunnel us? I mean, I don't blame him if he does. We are lower health, but... Now who's lower health, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Stinky. Alright, well, you're definitely dead. Yep, there you go. That's our win. We got it. Four in a row in less than 30 minutes so both of these are pretty easy to do and in less than 30 minutes i was able to earn two tier eights on my account this is why being skilled at the game is important you may be a 40 percenter and you may say oh i don't really care too much about the game but i don't want to hear you complaining that wargaming isn't a free-to-play company and not wargaming world of tanks blitz isn't a free-to-play game pc is a lot more challenging and is definitely pay to win but Blitz, I'm sorry, but if you think Blitz is pay to win after watching me earn two tanks for free, yes, it's skill based, but skill is not pay to win. I, this is literally an account that I had free to play for years, and now I have two more tanks. And the only thing I spent money on when it comes to this account is the Ukraine bundle so I could get the camo, uh, which is it. Everything else has been free to play. And there you have it, four wins in a row. So we just got our hands on the E75TS, just like that. So. Uh, I mean, that's just crazy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and uh, I don't want to hear any complaints about this game not being free to play. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.